Who's got the need for speed? Mike Rodriguez and Nathan Wood right here on 105.3 The Fan. Talking about the speed factor because Michael Vick is saying that he is still, underline still right there, still the fastest quarterback in the National Football League. Vick was on the Dan Patrick Show earlier this week, and he told uh, Dan the man that Vick can still run a 4.440, but maybe a high 4.4. So, Nathan, is there a difference between, like, well, I run, like, a low 4.4, but I'm now, like, a high 4.4? Um, I, <laughs> to I'm, me and you, yeah. But... I'm, I'm lucky if I'm, like, a high 5.2. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> I ran it when the Super Bowl was here and they had the NFL experience. I think I ran the 40 in, like, 5.4 or 5.5, something like that. I was getting torched by, like, 14-year-olds. To ben me, and, okay. By the way, Ben and Skin still bust my chops. Because there was one day, this was back in 2009, it was, it was Ben and Skin, and, and uh, actually Tim Kalashaw was in the room. And uh, Pete Stein and I were doing crosstalk, and somehow 40 times came up. And we were joking about it the other day. I told those guys, I said, yeah, at my fastest, I was clocked at a 4.2 when I was in high school. And they gave me that same look that you just gave me, right. like, Emrod, you are full of crap. Uh, I would agree with that. Four point two. I'm standing by it. So now, next now time this you see thirty ben yards, forty. You ran forty yards in four point two. Yes, Mike. That's like world class sprinter speed. I was. It was a high four point two. Were you like running downhill? No. Was there wind behind you? I also ran a six point six sixty. I don't. I even, had. I don't I had know what a wheels. fast sixty is. So. I had. I didn't have a lot of uh, hitting ability. Okay, but here's but the I thing: had Mike. wheels. Deion Sanders ran a four two. I had coaches come up to me saying that that was the fastest white kid that they've saw play baseball. <laughs> so I know where Michael Vick is coming from right now. All right, so in bragging high school, about speed. In high school, this one time, Mike, I bench pressed five fifty six times. See, I don't believe that. Why not? Because you're in high school, soaking wet, you were probably 150 oh, pounds. 50, like maybe like 115. Well, I mean, I had the advantage in high school. I was still think you were running downhill, but I was I'll only let you 100. Know, Mike, I'm gonna let you have it. I was I'm all, gonna, as yeah, a, as exactly. a generous co-host. I'm gonna let you. Why have would I that. say? Why would I just throw it out there? Where would I get? Where would I even get that number from? And there was one guy that that used to be on the fan who who backed me up. He said, and. Uh, former quarterback, NFL quarterback. You guys probably know who I'm talking about. He said, yeah, if you're saying that you did it, you did it. I'm like, yeah, exactly. Thank you. I did it. I ran a 4.2 back in the day. I don't. I couldn't run that now. I had 195 pounds and two bad knees and a bad back. But I see where Michael Vick is coming from. His pride is on the line right here. So that's still a big deal for him. Absolutely. Throwing, throwing interceptions, playing for a team that had ridiculously high expectations that they didn't even get close to meeting – don't worry about all that. The fact that I can still outrun young man running back LaShawn McCoy and I can still run a 4240, which is like 4-4. Four, four. A 4-4. Four, four. Still, yeah. that's elite of elite. Okay. That is you are a fast human being, okay? Chris Johnson has the record of the combine, by the way. He's at four he's in the four two range, right? Yeah, I think he was a f- either a four one nine or a four two one. Something four, two. along those lines. I mean, like track stars, like guys that uh, Will Demps was in the Olympics, and I think he ran like a four two five, something like that. But my point is, is does that translate to anything in the NFL? The forty to me is the most worthless thing at the combine because what does that show you? You're running in a without like, pads. You, you don't have any pads on. You're running in a straight line. The only reason they even do that is because back in the day they wanted to see how well you could cover a punt, and they said, how far does a punt usually go? 40 yards. So line him up as though he's a gunner. How fast can he get to the guy that's going to catch the punt? Who runs 40 yards in one direction anymore? Even (laughs) a receiver. Okay, even if you tell me a receiver is running 40 yards straight on a fly route, right? He's not going to run in a straight line. It's not like the quarterback's going to put it on the dot 40 yards down the field. And it's not like some cornerback's not going to be shoving him one way or another. And he's going to be wearing pads. And he's going to be on a field where there's elements. Running a 40 inside with track shoes on where a gun sounds and you run as fast as you can for 40 yards is maybe the most worthless thing they do at the combine. But I remember watching Vic get tackled from behind a lot last season. And that's what I'm saying. Like, So is that why he's coming out this year saying, 
I still got it, guys. My legs are great. I'm back in shape. I mean, where where was this 4-4 blazing speed last year? Because you can run it in a straight line. Standing still with the football in your hand and a guy trying to tackle you to your left and a guy trying to tackle you to your right where you have to make a decision where to run. Guess what? Your 4-4 speed doesn't play a factor at that point. 4-4 speed's only if you can get to the edge. Like, okay, you remember the run where Robert Griffin the third last year broke to the edge against the, the Vikings and he yes. just literally beat everybody down the sidelines? Yes. That's one of the few times where your ability, straight line speed, helps you. Punt returns sometimes if you can break like that initial wave and you can outrun everybody. But Michael Vick has 11 guys on the other side of the ball that are watching him, eye- eyeballing him. And to me, being able to run a 4-4 does nothing for him to be able to get out of the pocket or throw an accurate Or pass. throw the ball accurately. So I kind of want to have fun with this Vic bragging rights game. Uh, Autoflex leasing fan text 43733. If you guys want to text in to the show. My question for you guys, if Vic is bragging about his 40 speed, what bragging rights does Tony Romo have? If mm-hmm. any, if any, does, you know, will we, you know, make the headline for me. Romo brags he's still the blank in the NFL. <laughs> and he's probably right. Because the headline for Vic is, Vic claims he's still the NFL's fastest QB. So make the headline for me. Romo claims he's still the blank in the NFL. This is going to get bad on the Autoflex leasing Fantex 43733. I can already see the unclutch tweets coming through. But it, like physically imposing-wise or skill-wise... Skill. Let's go skill. Skill wise, the only thing I could think he is the he might be the best improviser. Because very few quarterbacks in this league are chased that much and still are able to make plays. Like the sandlot, I'm gonna roll right, nothing's gonna be open. I'm gonna step up in the pocket and fling a random pass down the middle of the field to a guy who's already ran his route eight seconds ago and now he's just kind of running down the middle of the field. I I think that might be like the elusiveness in the pocket. Like Ben Roethlisberger has the same trait, but it's just because he's so big and nobody can take him down. People just can't get their hands on Tony Romo. What do you think? That Romo, might be his best one. What do you think Romo would run the forty in? Uh four eight four nine four four seven four eight four nine. Tony Romo is a hell of an athlete. I, I like, absolutely he is agree. A I think he's a great athlete. athlete. I don't. He's not. He's not ever going to be the biggest. The I don't tallest. think he was quick though. I think he'd he's run not a four slow, eight four but he's nine. Not, I think he would run a five. I put a five. Offensive flat linemen on, on run Romo. five now. Yeah, but he's thirty three years old, thirty four years old. Next now, time right? I'm going to ask him. Next time I see Tony Romo, that's a great which question. is going to be a while. It is a he's great not going to talk the rest of OTAs. But I'm going to ask him how fast he can run like the forty because I bet it would be. I don't think he'll ever do it at this point. I don't think the Cowboys would let him trying to see how fast he could do it. But in his mind, like you say, you can run a four two. I'd be like Tony back in the day when I was yeah, sixteen but I'm years old. Like, I could. But I'm saying like you. Like, now what do you think you could run? You're not going to actually go do it, but you have an idea in your head what you could probably run. If I was, if I was lucky thing. now, I could probably get a 5-4. If I was lucky. I'm I mean, telling and, you, I and ran that, a 5-5 five, five and change at the NFL. Yeah, I mean, I'm 195 thing. pounds. It's, it's a whole different game when you're 16 years old and 155 pounds and you're just flying. Uh, the the te- the Romo texts are great, by the way. Four three seven three three. Uh, Romo claims he's still the best golfer in the NFL. He's got that, dude. <laughs> he does have that. Romo claims he's the best choke artist. Romo claims his he's got the hottest wife in the National Football League. Tom Brady might have. Yeah, him be I was on about that. to say. I, Candace is Candace is pretty nice to look at, but I don't know if he could. Cl- I haven't seen all the players' wives in the league, so I don't know about that one. Romo claims he's the best mediocre QB in the NFL. <laughs> uh, what else do we Holy got here? Cr- Mike, the Autoflex leasing Fantex just blew up right there. Most overpaid? In the NFL. <laughs> Top yards thrown per year. I mean, Stafford probably would have an argument there. Uh, most elusive, most mediocre, most ballerina. From the uh, 682, Romo claims he's the doughboyest QB in the <laughs> National Football League. The doughboyest? League. Maybe that's true. Did, I mean, did you see him when he was wearing, like, his golf attire? He's not exactly Tony ripped. Romo's not an Adonis, dude. That's what I'm saying. He's not exactly a slick, uh, tight, you know, running machine where he's, you know, just getting down there under five. I, I think Romo, 
is closer to my. I actually would want to race Tony Romo. Why did 40. you? Why did you like do a weird winky face whenever you said slick tight athlete? Like it. Like I don't know. when I think like slick tight athlete, like I think Miles like Austin stuff like that. Like Miles T. Austin's chisel. Dez, yeah. CJ. Tony, Tony Romo not really in that in that C- book. Chris Johnson and I, you know, I covered the Titans, but Chris Johnson had the forty times, and we we're getting text on that four two four three, and really it was all body size. I mean, Chris Johnson had his upper body might be twenty pounds, and then he just had two tree trunks that just flew. Uh, that's why you know when the Titans gave Chris Johnson that long contract, I'm like, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have invested in this guy because one hit and he's going to be done. Uh, more Romo text coming in. <laughs> Which one is making you laugh? The best starter spokesman. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Romo claims he's the best starter spokesman in the National Football League. Uh, that would here's, got me. Here's the a, best backwards hat wearer. Here's a fair one to Tony Romo. Oh, man. Uh, Romo claims he's the best undrafted quarterback in the National Football League. Uh, now that Kurt That's Warner's fair. gone? Probably. I can't, I can't think of one right off the top of my head. I'll have to look through all the quarterbacks in the league, but... Here's, I would say 95% of them are drafted, so yeah, probably. Here's the one that we're going to end it on because it's timely. Romo claims that he's the best QB that has survived assist in the National Football he's League. He's got it on lockdown, dude. That ridiculous procedure. 